Hey guys, Drew here for Z Code System, and we are back for another video. Today, we're going to preview the Major League Baseball playoffs, which start next week, Tuesday, October the 5th, and will carry on through the month of October and into November. Now, if you're like me, you forget that the Major League Baseball playoffs now are a competition that go well into the autumn, and uh, this will be a, another great year of Major League Baseball playoffs, and um, one that we're going to see go back to a little bit a bit of normality, uh, if you will, after last year's shakeup with the playoffs and the changes due to coronavirus. Uh, so today we're going to take a look at the playoffs. We're going to take a look at the odds uh, for making futures bets. Now, a lot of the bookies that are online here will be uh, keeping their sports books open for Major League Baseball futures bets for just a few more days. So we'll take a look at odds for the teams to win this, the uh, the World Series almost at Super Bowl, to win the World Series, and uh, we'll take a look at that, and if you are interested in getting a bet in uh, before uh, the bookies close the futures bets on the World Series, well, by all means, you can do that. Uh, we'll have a look at those odds, and I'll show you a tool that we use at Z-Code System to help you make some educated sports investments. Uh, we'll take a look at a few tools as well, uh, besides the one I really want to show you, which is the Playoff Simulator. Now, of course, please go over to the Z-Code System blog and read up on everything that we post there. Uh, there's a blog, a companion piece that goes along with this video that's here on YouTube. And also, we have all the other blogs that we post uh, from time to time, mostly daily, uh, over there at the Z Code System website. And I know that Up Right Now is uh, a blog, a recent blog on some Major League Baseball picks for the upcoming games and the end of the regular season, as well as there's a video with uh, here on YouTube, uh, a video with some those same picks uh, that you can watch and get there. And of course, please uh, hit pause, uh, hit that a thumbs up button, like this video, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all the things that we post here. Uh, because it's not just picks that we show; we also give you uh, a look at the tools that we use on Z Code System. And uh, you know, you can always go up there and sign up for the Z Code System tools and get on the action and start making educated sports investments today. Now, as you can hear, I've got a bit of a cold. It is a rainy, miserable day where I'm at, uh, but we are talking about the boys of summer, which are now going into the uh, the the autumn, the fall, uh, as we get ready for the fall classic. Now, um, we know that some of the teams that are in the World Series, or excuse me, already in the playoffs, we've got the Tampa Bay Rays, who are the number one uh, seed in the AL. We've got the Chicago White Sox. Um, the Houston Astros look like they are uh, going to be uh, in the in the playoffs there. Uh, the Yankees and the Red Sox fighting for that wild card. Uh, over in the NL, the Brewers, uh, they are in. Uh, the San Francisco Giants uh, are the number one seed right now. And then we also have uh, the Dodgers who are fighting for that wild card. Uh, the Braves looking like they're going to take the NL East. And the St. Louis Cardinals are already in. The playoffs. So we're going to have a, a very good playoffs. Uh, but before um, we talk about any of the teams and the betting odds, let's look at some key dates for the postseason this year. Okay, so we've got some key dates right here. So we've got the wild card games, which begin on October the 5th and 6th. The LDS begins on October 7th and 8th. The LCS beginning October 15th and 16th. And we've got the World Series beginning on Tuesday, October 26th. So this is all very exciting. Massive amount of baseball going on in the month of October. And some great chances for you to wager on games. And of course, like I said before, go over to Z Code System. Use all those tools to help you make educated sports investments. Now, those wild card games are going to be on the 5th and the 6th. And those are one-off games again this year. Now, this season... Uh, the, the Major League Baseball playoffs have gone back to 10 teams uh, rather than the 16 that made the playoffs last season. Last season, as we know, uh, we had the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, I mean, obviously, we're still in the pandemic now, but it was uh, a much uh, more severe uh, at this time last year. So Major League Baseball, with the 60-game regular season, they had 16 teams make the playoffs. And uh, we had a bit of a, a different type of playoff. Now, it's so funny listening to um, different sides argue about uh, the Major League Baseball playoffs. I'm a purist uh, at heart, and I want my Major League Baseball playoffs and really all other playoffs uh, in sports. Uh, I want the elite teams in that. I don't want a lot of teams making the playoffs because it devalues the regular season. But it's always funny to hear the uh, the people such as Buster Only and the ESPN crew uh, always say they want uh, a lot of teams making the playoffs. They want as many teams as possible making the playoffs because uh, it makes for drama and et cetera and so forth. And of course, they have an agenda. Uh, they're talking about the... Um, 
you know, getting more ratings and things like that uh, for the TV channels. They work for the TV channels, but you know, when you listen to or you read the the excellent pieces on the Athletic uh, and other uh, other websites, uh, credible websites, uh, talking about how you know having fewer teams makes it more interesting. That pro- uh, creates more drama actually because you have the best of the best in there, and that's purely for me um, uh, what I prefer, uh, the best of the best teams. And I'm going to be looking more forward to this year's playoffs because there are going to be fewer teams, six fewer teams, uh, just 10 teams in the playoffs. Uh, And, you know, of course, I would prefer uh, baseball to have even fewer than that. I I liked it back in the day when there were four uh, teams, when uh, only four teams from each league made the playoffs. And you know what? I loved it back in the day, especially now looking at it, when there were two divisions in each league. And uh, only two teams made the the postseason, or, or four teams. Then uh, I think it was after that. But I digress. Uh, we are past those times, and well, money talks. So now looking at the format for this year's playoffs. So we've got three division winners in the AL and the NL, and those teams will all advance directly to the league division series. Uh, it looks like the Giants, the Brewers, and the Braves at the moment are going to be those teams in the NL going to the league division series, the LDS. Uh, and in the AL, it's going to be the Rays, the White Sox, and I believe it looks to be the Houston Astros going to the ALDS. So we're going to have those teams going directly there. Now, the non-division winners with the two best regular season records will play in the wild card game. Um, I believe uh, last time I checked it in the um, uh, in the AL, it's going to be the Red Sox and the Yankees if we go on uh, on that today. Um, and in the in the NL, it's going to be the Dodgers and the Cardinals, which should be a fantastic matchup uh, there with last season's World Series winner, the Dodgers taking on the Cardinals. Uh, now, the winner of the wild card games advanced to play the team with the league's best record in the LDS. So um, you know, we could see a Dodgers, if they were able to beat the Cardinals, see them play the Giants uh, in the LDS, which is unfortunate because those two teams would make for a great um, LCS uh, series. Um, now, the LDS is a best of five, while the League Championship Series and the World Series are best of seven. So we're going back to these old formats, like I said before, um, getting away from what happened last year when we had the COVID-19 affected season. Okay, so that takes a look at some of the key dates and the format for the World Series coming up, or excuse me, not the World Series, the MLB playoffs. Uh, Now let's take a look at some of the betting odds for futures going into the playoffs coming up next week. Okay, so we are using Bet365. This is my favorite sports online bookie, the one I use the most of the time. Uh, Now there are other online sports bookies out there, and of course you probably have your own favorite, but I'm going off of this and um, giving you the futures odds on the Major League Baseball World Series. And as you can see there, according to Bet365, the book closes on the 3rd of October at, uh, that is what, 9, 10 in the evening at night. So we've got the Dodgers who are leading the way there with plus 320 in betting odds to win the World Series. The Giants, who have the best record in the National League, they are 475, and the Tampa Bay Rays plus 550. Now, some of the teams here, um, such as the Blue Jays, uh, the Mariners, the Phillies. Now, these teams do have outside shots of making the playoffs, um, but at the moment, as you can see, their World Series winning odds kind of reflect uh, the fact that they may not make the playoffs, such as the Phillies there at plus 50,000. Um, so we've got these odds here with these teams, and we can see that uh, bookies are backing the Dodgers to win the World Series once more, uh, despite the Giants being uh, the better team in the NL West. Now, of course, with playoffs, the playoff structure, this is a time when the hottest team, the team that gets hot at the moment, uh, typically goes on to win uh, you know, a series or potentially the World Series. Um, now, uh, over the last few years, uh, it's not always the best teams that meet in the World Series, and it's not always the best team that wins the World Series, which um, is something that I always hate uh, in sports that use a playoff structure because I don't feel like the team that won uh, the most games or the best team during the regular season uh, were rewarded uh, in the end. But as we can see there, the Dodgers are the favorites, according to Bet365 and other sports books, to win the World Series. Now we can change up our uh, MLB futures odds here on Bet365, and we can change it up to uh, teams to win the league. And uh, let's just scroll down to look at that. So in the AL, we've got the Rays, who are favorites just slightly uh, by Bet365 and other sports sportsbooks. Um, they are favorites at plus 250. 
and on down there with the Astros coming second. And then the White Sox, the Yankees, despite all that money they're being, they, they've spent uh, over the years, they uh, they come in as fourth favorites to win the AL. And then we go over to the National League, Dodgers favorites there, quite big favorites, uh, and the Giants uh, and Brewers after that. So, um, you know, those are our betting futures there on Bet365. If you um, want to get in on this, as you can see there, um, Looks like the book the books don't close until October thirty first with this one, um, so if you want to get in on betting on futures betting, uh, whether it be World Series or to bet on the team to win the league, uh, AL or NL, you want to get over to that soon uh, to wager on those teams because those sports books, lots of sports books, will be closing that shortly. All right, let's take a look at a few other things. I want to show you some tools that we have over at Z-Code System for you to go out and grab or go out and use uh, to help you make educated sports bets on Major League Baseball coming up. Now, as you could just hear just a second ago, my voice cracking, so I apologize. Coming to you today, like I said, I have a bit of a cold, uh, a bit under the weather uh, coming to you. The weather is very, very cold and rainy where I'm at, and uh, it's reflecting in my, in my health at the moment. Um, but... We're going to take a look at a few tools that you can use at Z Code System uh, if you are a VIP member, and then you can use these to help you make educated sports bets and investments on baseball playoffs this year. Uh, as you can see there, this is the, simply the VIP club, the VIP page, and the wall. Uh, and you can see that uh, we have all kinds of sports there. So it's not just baseball, depending on whatever you want to bet on, whether you want to bet on AFL. Uh, I'll show you most football that is, uh, eSports, uh, KHL Hockey, or Major League Baseball, which we're going to click on, then you can do that. Now, the VIP wall is uh, one of the easiest tools that you can use. Now, today is September the 30th, so I'm going to, in just a second when this loads up, I'm going to just change our date to September 30th. Uh, and this is just one of the easiest tools, like I said, that you can use. Uh, and you can go over there and you can hit your drop down box. And there are games, so I'm just going to put the Brewers and Cardinals, which that could be a game that comes up in the playoffs. Uh, and then you get all of this great info right there, uh, going with the point spread totals uh, over and under. Um, you've got your uh, hot trends right there. You've got your score predictions. Uh, and we also post the confidence in that prediction. Uh, a little bit of um, commentary under that. And then you can see how the teams are performing, such as there, how the Brewers have done over their last six games, and the Cardinals as well. And you can see all these other uh, information, such as the pictures. Uh, so there's so much you can get from the VIP wall. This is such a great tool. And a lot of this data has been collected over, well, this data has been collected over the course of the year and the years previously. But now that you're going into the playoffs, we've got all this data that's been crunched by the by the computers and also by the sports bettors um, that use the website. And uh, you can go in there and you can get all this information. And you can also post uh, on the VIP wall. So as you can see here, we've got two members who have posted uh, to discuss um, you know, their ideas or their thoughts uh, on this game. And of course, you can also look at the head-to-head -head between these teams. And you can see there that the Brewers and the Cardinals uh, have traded the last few games, but the Cardinals have played pretty well uh, against the Brewers uh, in recent games. Uh, but that's a great tool to use, and uh, you'll have all of the games. Again, like I said, it doesn't matter which sport you want to bet on. You'll have this the various uh, games from those leagues to look at that information on the VIP wall. Uh, but I want to look at one of the tools that I love to profile here on Z Code System in our videos, and one I'll probably use once the playoffs get going and show you uh, during a video. Okay, so the tool I want to show you is the Playoff Simulator, which is a great tool to use once the playoffs get going. Uh, and it's a tool that you can go and use um, next week, uh, right after the regular season ends, and you can get an idea of what the algorithms believe, uh, or who, I guess I should say, will be winning these playoff games. It gives you an idea, maybe a clearer picture of um, who you want to bet on and uh, the playoffs going forward. So if you've not used this before, you can always click here and you can find out a little bit more about the Z Code system tool for the playoff simulator, as well as there is a video here on YouTube that you can just search for and you can use that to get more information on how to use the playoff simulator tool. Now, 
I've already put the teams in here. So we've got the teams uh, as of what they, they are right now on um, Thursday, September the 30th. So these are the teams that would be making the playoffs as today. Now, this is just me giving you an example of how this works. Um, I've done it on the blog as well. I've given you three examples on the blog using the upset level. So we can see here that the upset level, we have low, average, and high. I'm just going to put it on average. I'm just going to do it one time here today. Uh, but uh, next week when we get to the playoffs, uh, when we get to the actual playoffs, um, we'll come back. We'll put these teams back in, and we will run the simulator on three different goes and uh, see what we come up with. But let's just give it a go right here uh, based on the information we have as of today uh, with the regular season just having a few more days left to go. So we've clicked simulate and now we are just waiting for it to do its job. And as you can see there, our playoff simulation on upset level being average, uh, we have the LA Dodgers winning in six games against the Tampa Bay Rays in the World Series. Now, one of the great tools here, or uh, one of the great things about this tool is it's not just getting this final piece of the puzzle. It's not just predicting the teams that will make the World Series and who will win the World Series. It's also a great tool for going forward. We've got that wild card game. We've got those um, LDS games, LCS games. So this is a great tool to use from every step of the way to go through the World Series. Um, so you can use that, and you can see there in the in the AL, we've got the Yankees over the Red Sox in the wild card game, uh, then the Rays topping the Yankees, the Sox, White Sox topping the Astros, and then the Rays topping the White Sox, and then over in the NL, we've got the Dodgers beating the Cardinals in the wild card game, and then the Dodgers knocking off the Giants uh, in the LDS, and then the Brewers being beaten by the Braves in the LDS, with the Dodgers coming out on top in seven in the LCS, uh, but then going on to win the World Series against the Rays. So again, this is a great tool to use, and you can see there if you are um, uh, wanting to use it for the NHL, NFL, NBA, NCAA basketball, NCAA football, you can use those during the playoffs for those leagues. So you've got that tool over at Z Code system. So if you want to be able to use this tool and uh, use all the tools that we have there, then you need to sign up today at Z Code system. Now, guys, that's going to do it for us here on this video, giving you a little bit of information about the playoffs coming up, the MLB playoffs, that is, and giving you some ideas of the tools. We'll come back to you next week. Uh, we'll have videos and blogs uh, about some of the games, some picks for the games. And I'm going to run this playoff simulator again for you next week. And we'll have another video to get an idea of which team will be lifting that trophy. But as of right now, with a few games left in the regular season, we're predicting, at least the simulator is, the playoff simulator is predicting the LA Dodgers to win the World Series against the Tampa Bay Rays. So do with that what you want. All right, guys, good luck with your baseball betting in the last few days of the regular season. And if you're making a futures bet on the Dodgers or anybody else uh, with the sports books closing those futures bets soon, uh, good luck with that. And we will see you next time here at Z Code System on YouTube.